Now, we've shown you video of that December road rage shooting in West Lubbock this week. But for the first time tonight, we're actually hearing from the victim inside the car. Yeah, she tells us over a month later, she's still in shock about the whole thing, but is honestly surprised that it's taken Lubbock police this long to find the man responsible. She explained her side of things to our Jaxie Pigeon earlier tonight. Jaxie. Since that incident took place and tonight police and that victim are hoping someone out there can help find the suspect who almost took a woman's life on the road. They started shooting at my vehicle and so I just shut the door and sat there. I mean, I was in shock. Home security video caught this road rage shooting back on December 6th near 33rd in Salisbury. The victim, who was asked to remain anonymous, says it started on 34th Street. He was like slamming on his brakes. He swerved and almost hit another, like the vehicle next to him. I've always been taught like, if you're behind them, you have no control. Like you're in at their mercy. And so I was trying to go around him. He like lost control, rear-ended me. Police say that driver, who had two other people in his car, followed her. You can see me opening my door because my window doesn't roll down. And so I opened my door. I figured we were just going to exchange information and go on about our business. In this newly released video from police, you can see the man getting out of his SUV and shooting at the woman's car. He was shooting across his passenger, so like he could have hit her. He could have hit himself because I guess one of the bullets ricocheted. She says she tried to record him on her phone, but only got him driving off. Police, who arrived minutes later, finding 15 casings in her car with a flat tire. So we asked police what you should do if you unfortunately find yourself in a similar situation. What we can do is try to de-escalate that situation when we're presented with it. So if you hear someone honking at you, what you can do is just keep driving, continue driving. If someone's coming up on you fast, move out of the way and let them pass you. Uh, that to stop the situation before it starts is always gonna be better than reacting to someone who's gesturing in your direction, um, yelling at you, waving their fists at you, just allow them to pass. And the victim, still shaken up about the whole thing, says she's just glad she was alone that night. No matter how somebody else makes you feel or what type of emotions they bring out of you, like you're an adult and you have power over these emotions. You, have, you ultimately have the control. And no matter like cultural or uh, racial differences like how anybody was brought up like a life is a life at the end of the day and Lubbock police say that suspect was driving a light colored SUV but still have yet to locate him so if you know anything about what happened you're asked to call the crime line at 806-741-1000